The spring swing of the old ball game is winding down, but not before one of the most highly anticipated and for some expensive games of spring training. Wake News reporter Janae Muchmore has joins us now live from JetBlue Park where the Red Sox are taking on the Cubs in less than an hour. Janae. Lois. Scalpers love games like these because they know they can get more for tickets. What started as a $30 ticket is now selling for up to $850 on StubHub. You can see a crowd of people still waiting outside the ticket booth where I caught up with one Cubs fan today who waited all day to score a pair of tickets. So yeah, we just we knew it was sold out, so we're just going to wait to see if they release some more tickets and uh, We'll see. Baseball fans like Larry Blackwood have been sitting outside JetBlue Park all day, waiting to see if they can get their hands on a ticket to watch the historic matchup between the Cubs and the Red Sox. It's pretty rare for the two exhibition leagues to play each other. The Cubs spring train in Arizona. The prices, I will not support the kind of money that baseball is today. So if I don't get in here at, at ticket box standing room prices or whatever, life goes on. While praying he won't have to tell his wife they can't watch the Chicago Cubs play. She's going to cry if she don't get in. Although he's willing to pay the price. Uh, you know, I'll pay whatever they, they get here. You know, whether it's a chair seat, standing room seat, whatever they got released, um, I'll pay that, you know, to the stadium. He's drawn the line when it comes to purchasing tickets from a third party. But not, not a scalper. I won't pay that kind of money, the 100 bucks or whatever they're getting. Now, I've since had the chance to watch Larry Blackwood head into JetBlue Park with two tickets in his hand and a smile on his face, and he only paid $33 a piece. Now the Red Sox and the Cubs are both gearing up for home for games here in Florida. It's for the opening day. Live outside JetBlue Park, Janae Muchmore, Wink News Now.